Why the hell did you volunteer to babysit the dragon lady anyway? I'm just curious, that's all. Whatever, man. Have fun. Dr. Halsey? Spartan Thorn, I'll be your escort for the day. You knock, at least. Most people don't. Looks like we better get you to work. Doctor, I understand you worked with the original Spartans. I'm afraid it's all still quite classified. But the original Spartans were conscripted as children. I did what was required. But why children? Why do you think? Well, it could have given them an edge. Starting that young. Not knowing anything else. There were many reasons behind the choices we had to make. Psychological and physiological. Psychological? So you don't think we're capable of being Spartans? Perhaps some of you are closer than others. If you'll excuse me, please. Roland, bring up REQ-153-N. I presume you'd like to start it before the tragedy. Please, Roland. Castle team just got hit running supplies into Copernicus. Copernicus? A science base. Looking for the librarian AI that Master Chief encountered? Instead, they found something else. Jewel Amdama. Yeah. Because Requiem wasn't messed up enough. So, oh, Mr. Thorne, what interest is my research to you, specifically? I enlisted with the Spartans because I was in the army a year before my family and friends were killed in New Phoenix. I always thought the Spartans were special. But maybe I could have saved them. And does it help you, help your grief, being here on Requiem, shooting at, what do they call them, Prometheans? Doctor? Prometheus. Stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. I'm simply curious what gifts, if any, the Promethean life forms have to offer. Their forerunner robots, hard light and battle armor, ruthless, brutal. What can they offer us? Nothing but trouble, Doctor. They're simply killing machines. Interesting. Dr. Halsey. Quiet, please. I'm working. Love, uh, I keep telling you people I don't speak Sengali. Progress. I've got to have better equipment. More materials. You're, you're giving me two sticks to rub together here, technologically speaking. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no need for a translation there. You're saying there's an actual living forerunner inside of this thing. Huh. I wonder what she could tell us. Librarian. <laughs> 